Hi, my name is Molly, and today I will be playing The Dating Pool. I know very little about this game outside the fact that my friend Latrune recommended it to me. It has furries in it, it's a point-click adventure, and it's a very early demo. So, as you do when you find any kind of game, you play the intro. Oh, hello. This isn't a, mad, a bad manuscript, but... But... That little something is missing. Check page 42, for instance. He hugged me and kept him close. We'd felt the whole world waiting just for us to be happy. No offense, but they're supposed to be deeply in love. Show it to the reader. So far, they're just happy to be together. Why? I, I don't know, it just felt fitting to me. Ilra, have you ever been in love? Of course. When? When I was 10, I think? I see, well you need some dating experience then. Get a feel on how love works, to know what you're writing about. You know how to write them, but not how they feel yet, so try and find a lovely man of your choice. Or woman. Someone you like and could feel love towards. But I've got no time for that. This story should be published soon. But you decide when you want to publish it. How about you just take, about it, take it as an experience, to know your hero's feelings. Like five days, maybe ten? I can give it a try, but I'll try to work on my manuscript as well. All I ask. Okay! Pretty cool. <gasps> oh my god! Is Latrun making this? Is this why she recommended it to me? Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I love it when my friends are part of making really cool things. Well, if it's if it's written by who I think it is, then we should be in for one hell of a game. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can skip this. Yeah, sorry everyone else. Okay. Broken down car. Oh dear, this isn't good. Something must have broken in there. Though that bang at the end was kind of exciting. Yeah, we're in for a hell of a game. <laughs> okay. Well, this looks like our bar. Okay. So that's walking around. We've got that down. Cool. Let's... I, I'm assuming this is to look at things? Just some trees. Big ones. Nice purple hue to match the season. Okay, purple trees. That's fine. This is fine. Well, I suppose I really shouldn't argue because furries, but then... Discolored trees. Eh, whatever. That is you. Ilira, renowned author and hopeless romantic. What about the ground? You're stranded on the road, some, somewhere halfway between two cities. It's a good thing it's nice out, and not all that late. Cool. My cute little calico E3 roadster. He can go anywhere I wish, and I just love him. This is so cute so far. That looks like it might be a gas station or something, considering the location. Ah, delightful bright blue. It seems to be around late morning, early noon. Oh, well, okay. An interesting fluid drips from your car's engine. Ah, good. It's probably coolant or some shit. Okay. Oh, uh, let's touch things. Can I touch me? Surely no one could mind if I... What is she implying? Am I decent? Yes. Yes, I am. Cool beans. I can't use your car in that state. Damn shame. Oh, is that? Yeah, that does seem to be water. And with sunny weather like that, there's only that one place where it can come from. Ah. Uh, okay. Can I check anything else? You pop the hood and take a look inside. Oh. You wriggle the fuel canister out of its seat. What little water remains inside does not do so for very long. One of them has already burst. Best not m to mess with what's still functional. I shouldn't touch that. There might still be a charge, and this is not a Sierra game. What? That's not necessary. Okay. Cool. Cool! I can barely understand what I'm thinking. Okay, can I talk to the tree? Hello, trees! 
Naturally, there is no response. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll fix you up soon. Oh, that's cute. Can I talk to that? There's no one else around to hear you. Okay, watch this. <laughs> Don't even think of that, you tree-hugging hippie. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> you're lovely, Calico. Just a little bit lacking in personality. Can I use the martini with the fluid? No. No use at all. Okay. What's this? That is... Oh, it's my handbag. Okay, what have we got? It's your key ring. Front door, garage door, car. It's the manuscript for your upcoming romance novel, Love Me Under the Starlight. Your mind said it needs some work on the romance scenes and that you may need to include some more rabbits. You think that maybe she was joking on the latter part. Hmm. Anything's a dildo if you're brave enough. Okay. A broken empty fuel canister with half an intake line dangling from it. Okay. So it's going to be that kind of game. Not going to lie. I'm excited. I guess this is going to be like a day mechanic. Time of day. Calendar. Oh, settings. Ah, explicit. I wonder what happens if I turn it on to safe. Um, how do I... Ah, oh, there we go. I'll have a look at the... toy again. It's a personal massager. Yes, that's all it is. I see. So... It gets a little bit toned down, but... I don't know why anyone would want to tone this down. If you're going to experience it, may as well experience it. Oh, this is the help icon. I don't really need that right now. Okay. Let's go for a walk. It's quite a walk, and you'd never leave your car behind like that. Okay. Let's go to the garage then. Ooh, I like the music. Let's have a look around. Lord Kashin's Car Repairs. Sounds like a good place. Through the window you can see a typical little store selling snack food and other such minor things. Cool. Several boxes are stacked all around the shop. Some are labelled, some not. I like this music. It's nice, it's upbeat, it's cheerful. A lot seems like a typical car mechanic type person. Friendly, but you know, might not want to shake his hand. A nice sports car being worked on. Your typical average peanut poster, for the kind you'd find ex cut yeah, try again. Your typical average peanut poster. Excuse you, I wasn't finished. Your typical average peanut poster of the kind you'd expect to find in a shop like this. Oh yeah. Okay. Um That won't be of any help. It's not it's really no use to even consider tapping on the glass. Best not Mr. mess with Mr. Allure's stuff. Eager to touch the sexy mechanic, are you? Well, yeah! Ah, <laughs> uh, this game's so cheeky. Not while this gentleman's still working on it. Okay. Mr. Allure probably wouldn't like it if you took his decorations. Probably not. The only other person around here is Mr. Allure. There's no one in the store. Okay. I assure you there is nothing in those boxes that's capable of responding. It's just an image on paper. It can't talk back, nor listen. Can I talk to the car? Is that a Cheetah C1 Sports Coupe? It is! You seem to know your cars. This and that. It's good to have a customer who knows their thing. I'll manage. I just adore my calico. You named your car after its model? You really must love it. I do. Car wash day is always exciting. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't agree more. For a moment, you imagine a law washing your car. You're certain he's imagining exactly the opposite. Oh, that's cheeky. Can I talk to him? Good day, miss. I'm a law. A law Kashin. Do you need anything? Hello, Mr. A law. My car broke down earlier, up on the road. I'm sorry to hear that, miss. I'm afraid I'm a little too busy to leave the shop right now, so I can't come and check it out. I'm afraid you'll have to run your own little diagnosis and come back later. 
It seems the fuel canister burst, and I'd like to buy a replacement. If your car's still up there, I take it this is the primary? Well, I've got some good news and some better news, miss. Good news is, I have some of this model in stock. That's always good. The better news is that this silly thing is still under warranty, unless you messed with it and caused it to rupture, but... Nothing of the sort! If I did, I would have made sure I could still get home, right? Quite right. Just a moment, I'll get you a new one. Cool. Here you go. Anything else I can help you with? Yes, actually. I'd like to know you a little better. Well, I've been in this business for about five years now, alone, but I was considering hiring some help at the shop. You? Illyra. Or is that Illyra? Illyra! I'm an author, and I've been writing novellas since I don't even remember. I don't think I've read any of your works, but I might now. Okay. Uh, can I flirt with him? Thanks for the interest, but I don't know, know I don't know you so well that I'd let you. Can I touch him? What if I talk to him now? Oh! Looks a bit young. Uh, not a single idea for a topic in mind? Not even the weather? Um... A law lets you do so as long as he isn't working. Oh, okay, so I can stare at him. Can I touch him? <laughs> okay, I might touch when he lets me. Well then. Um, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Um... Can I use that on him? Can I... Those items don't work together. Of course. Um... Nope. Uh... Okay, I'm not sure I can... I don't know how much there is that I can actually do at the moment. Okay, it looks like... Uh, can I still exit this menu? Um, what else but a nose? Oh, I see. I can look at him. Hmm, not bad. Ears. To here, you know. You could spend quite some time in those. His eyes, not his ears. A little... Oh, yep. General. Oh my, such lovely muscles. Law's overalls are somewhat dirty and, you f and fit loosely under a tone, but not overly muscled chest. Okay. Um, cool. Can I flirt with him now? As much as you'd like to slam the hood and pin him against it, it's probably better to not rush in like that. Oh! Okay. Um... So... <laughs> I'd whisper, but I'm not at that point yet. You got lovely eyes. Thank you very much. Are you really th this desperate for a topic? Your overalls really fit, yet does not cover you all. <laughs> that wasn't a bad bun. Ah, overalls, but they don't cover him all. Uh, nice hair. Oh wow, that was corny. Thank you, I washed it just this morning. Um, maybe later you'd compliment Alor's arms. Okay. You got a lovely chassis there. Car pun. Thanks, but my construction isn't the problem here, is it? Um, okay. Can I flirt with him now? No. Um, okay, I'll go back and fix the car. Again, this is a demo, so I'm not entirely sure how much there is to do and whether, you know, I'm not progressing because there's no content or I'm not progressing because I'm an absolute dope. Oh, I guess I have to uh, pop the hood again. You pop the hood and take a look inside. You 
should definitely snap the shiny new canister into place and attach the intake line. All set and ready to rumble. Okay, can I use the car then? Oh cool! From the sound of things, everything seems to be in order. Let's go home, Calico. Oh, that's the demo. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. I really, really did. Oh, is that a... Remember, please send any suggestions or words of encouragement. Yeah, right. To Kawa at scriptprogramming.com. Kawa no... Email address? Or on the itch.io page you may have found this at. Okay. Cool. In case you pick email, please mention that it's about the dating pool or SCI so I know what's up. Spam traps, you understand. Cool, I wonder if these are going to be backgrounds for the rest of the game. Other than that, please have a good 2017. Oh, the game just quit itself. Okay, well, I certainly liked that demo. Um, I love the art style, I love how cheeky it is, and I... Honestly, I would pay for a full game if it were released, and I really hope it is. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll put a link to the demo in the description for this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!